Good morning. My name is John Whitmer. I'm the director of music ministry at Salem Lutheran Church and School in Afton, Missouri. And it's my privilege to be bringing you a devotion this morning. Today's devotion is another in the series of Monday blessings written by my father, Pastor Gary Whitmer, during his time in active ministry. The de today's devotion is based on Psalm chapter 75, verse 3, which reads, When the earth and all its people quake, it is I who hold its pillars firm. Mercy, peace, and love be yours in abundance. Pastor Gary writes, My fear of heights, or fear of falling, makes me a poor candidate for painting and window washing and so on. I jokingly comment that if God had wanted me to be a house painter, he would have given me three arms, two to hold on to the ladder and one to paint. Necessity, however, often makes one do what he would rather not. Father and husband need to retrieve errant frisbees, or children from the roof or trees or whatever. Stuck second-story windows need opening, and because of my strength and know-how, I am chosen to climb the ladder, or you can bet that my wife Marcia would be up there. These new wooden or new aluminum ladders are even more bouncy and therefore more scary than the wooden ones. My dear and precious wife, knowing my fear, stands dutifully at the bottom of the ladder holding it and steadying it for me. It is amazing how much steadying she can really do. When the children got older, you would often see at least two people steadying the ladder for a man no more than 10 feet off the ground. But without them, I would not even attempt the climb. For many, anticipation of what is coming, or anticipation of what has to be done, can be disconcerting and downright scary. It's amazing how much of our life is directed by our fears. Courage is not being fearless, but the ability to act in spite of one's fears. And courage is a lot easier when you have someone steadying the ladder. <clears throat> God doesn't say if the world gets shaky, but when. And even if the entire earth quakes, he, who is its creator, who is capable of calming the story me sees, who is capable of keeping the earth's wobble from getting out of control, who raises the dead, who in point of fact is he upon whom the universe rests, it is he who holds the pillars firm. God's promise to you is of his personal concern for you. My wife's concern for me, even when she thought it foolish, made her hang on all the tighter. Jesus will do you no less. When things are going well for you, remember, who is holding your pillars firm? When your life quakes and gets a little wobbly or even downright scary, be confident. Jesus will not let go of your ladder. Just because it wobbles doesn't mean you will fall or fail. Even if the perceived failure of death is but a minor matter to the Lord of life. Climb a rung higher today. The Lord is with you. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for holding tight to us in the good and the bad times. We ask that you calm our fears and steady our nerves as we work towards serving you. Bless us in all we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, everyone, for listening today. May God bless your day and your week. Goodbye.